So here we are, right on our mat. Excited to have you here. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Breathe it out through the mouth. Soften the shoulders. Another big breath in. And exhale it out. Seal the lips, beginning to tap into the yoga breath, which is really focused on the inhale and exhale, just through the nose. So here we go, in through the nose, inhale. Really focused on stillness here, just for three to four breaths before we start to move. Pulling that air deep down into the lower lobes of the lungs, feeling the expansiveness of that breath. All right, last one. Let's inhale together in through the nose and out. And if the eyes are closed, go ahead and blink them open. Give the shoulders a little roll, get any fidgets out that you might have. And then let's find ourselves into table. <clears throat> so setting ourselves up in table pose, fingers are spread wide, stacking our joints, toes are untucked. And for today, we're gonna shift our hips off to the right side of our mat and then gaze over the left shoulder towards the left foot. So a little side bend action. Breathe it back to center. Shift hips to the left, exhale, look over the right. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, shift hips right, gazing left. And then inhaling back to the center, shift hips towards our left and gaze right. Great, come back to the center. We're still in our, uh, in our table pose. This time let's tuck the toes and we're just gonna sit the heels back towards the hips and the he hips towards the heels, not all the way. Reset, come back, back to table. We're gonna build on this, sit the hips back towards the heels, lift the fingertips with you keeping the elbows straight. So gaze up if you're confused and <laughs> come back to the table. Fingers will rest back down. So our toes are tucked, shifting the hips back, lift the fingers to go along for the ride. Good, actively pull the fingers up towards the face, come back to table. Good, we've got one more of those. So shifting the hips back, lift fingertips up towards the face, keeping the elbows straight, fingers are spread wide and then we'll come back to table. All right, keeping the toes tucked, engage the belly button in towards the spine, lift and hover the knees for three, for two, rounding through the upper back, for one, set the knees down. We can sit back and we give the wrists a quick roll. Set back up into table, toes are still tucked. Inhale, lift the knees to a hover, Pause here for three, for two, for one. And before you go anywhere, we're gonna lift the hips up a bit higher, shift the heels off towards the right, and settle the hips back. Inhale it back to our hovering downward facing dog, shift heels towards our left edge, and shift it back. Good, come on forward, heels towards the right. Breathe it back towards the center and exhale, heel towards the left. Beautiful, let's come back to the center. Tap the knees down, take one cat cow. Inhaling back to a nice neutral spine and then we'll lift the hips up into downward facing dog. So take a moment in downward facing dog, walk the legs out clawing through the fingertips, so pressing the fingertips down into the mat, getting out of the actual wrist joints. 
And then let's find some stillness in the legs. Big breath in here. Exhale out the mouth. And then let's walk the feet a little closer together. Inhaling the left leg up towards the sky, going for length, not for height here. So reaching that heel away from the body. Another breath in. Exhale, bend the knee so the heel reaches towards the glutes. Okay, strong leg here on our right side. And we're gonna start to take some hip circles. So heels squeezing into the glutes, hip circles, and change direction. All right, stick with me here. Extend out through that leg, point flex the ankle, and then we're gonna take the sole of the left foot, placing it at the shin of our right foot. This is weird, so stick with me. So we're in tree pose. Shift the weight forward and we're into plank. Send the left leg back. Inhale, tuck knee in towards the nose. Exhale, reach it out. Tuck knee in towards the nose. Inhale. And then reach back full plank. Drop the knees. Cat cow. And before getting into the other side, Let's take a moment to flip the palms, change the direction of the wrist stretching. All right, so we've got the other side. So we'll set up in our, in our table, tucking the toes, inhale, lift the hips up towards the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, let's go ahead and reach the right leg up for length, pointing the toes downwards towards the ground. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, tuck that right heel in towards the glutes. Begin to take some easy hip circles. and then change the direction of those hip circles. Good. Inhale, reach the right foot back. Bending through that knee, take that right foot to the inner shin. We have our tree pose. Rocking forward into plank. And then let's shoot that right leg back. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, reach. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, into plank pose. Drop the knees, lower all the way down onto the belly. And then we'll take the arms, reach them back, and then the palms will spread downwards towards the ground. Inhale, lift the chest, float the palms. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open up through the chest, lift palms, squeeze and engage the quads so the kneecaps will lift. And then exhale, place the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. Inhale, press up onto bent knees, downward facing dog. Gaze forward, step forward to the front of the mat. We're in forward fold. Soft knees in forward fold. Give the head a little shake right to left. And then let's go ahead and inhale. Take the hands to the shins. Breathe into a long, flat spine. Exhale, go ahead and forward fold. Inhale, take your time, going all the way up to standing. Loop the shoulders down and away from the ears. And we're in our mountain pose. So mountain pose, we've got a little space between our feet. We're standing up nice and tall. The shoulders are relaxed down and away from the ears. Slight pinch between the shoulder blades. Inhale in, exhale out. Breathe the arms all the way up over the head, big beach ball here. And then interlacing fingers, keeping our index fingers pointing up towards the sky. We have steeple hands. So tuck that tailbone under, engaging the core. Breathe in, exhale, side bend towards the right. Inhale to center, 
Exhale, side bend left. Inhale to center. Exhale, let's go ahead and forward fold. Shifting the right foot back, placing the, the right knee down. We're in our kneeling lunge. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. We're in our kneeling lunge here. Gentle tug back of our left hip crease. Imaginary beach ball between the fingertips. Breathe big here. Exhale, tip the crown of the head forward, sweeping the arms back. We're in airplane pose. Palms are facing down. Inhale, go ahead and reach the arms back up. Exhale, placing the hands on either side of the front foot. Let's go ahead and take this front foot, step back to meet the right. We're in plank. Take a breath here. Exhale, shift it forward, drop the knees, lower onto the belly. Breathe it into our baby cobra, lift the chest. Exhale, lower. Breathe in, tuck toes, press up onto bent knees, downward facing dog. Bringing the right foot forward between the hands, tucking the left knee down. Set up on our kneeling lunge opposite side, breathing the arms up. So we've got our beach ball above our head, gentle squeeze, creating our own resistance. Take another breath in. Exhale, tip the crown of the head forward, sweeping the palms back, airplane. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, place the hands on either side of the front foot. Let's step forward to the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's build on that. All right, inhale, arms will come on up. Interlace the fingers, steeple hands. Mindful of what's going on at our tailbone. We're tucking the tailbone under, engaging the deep core muscles. Breathe in, lift tall. Breathe out, side bend right. Inhale back to the center. Side bend left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, stepping the right foot back, placing the knee down, kneeling lunge. Inhale, let's go ahead and reach the arms up over the head. Breathe in and breathe out, sweep it forward. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, sweeping it forward. Pressing the top of the back foot down, engaging that quad muscle. Inhale, we'll come all the way up. Exhale, placing the hands on either or on the inside of the left foot. And we'll just walk that left foot over just a smidge, variation of lizard. So we'll press the left knee into the left tricep. So we're just gonna pause here for a moment. So breathing here, open up the chest, breathe out. Breathe in here, shift the hips back, about halfway, half splits. Breathing it forward. We're gonna lift the back knee by tucking toes. We're in our runner's lunge. Crown of the head is gonna reach forward. Take a big breath here. And breath out, reach that back heel, reach it back. Inhale, we're gonna take the back foot, we're gonna spin the heel back down. The hand is gonna stay the inside arch, creating that connection between the tricep and the knee. Inhale, right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, lower, we're gonna flow here. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, lower. Inhale it up. And exhale. Take both hands down, pivoting on that back leg. We're going to move our left foot back towards the center of our mat. Take a deep breath here. And then exhale. We're going to bend the back knee and give ourselves a little momentum to pop up into three-point balance. So I promised balance today. We'll do some balance work today. And we all can use definitely some work with our balance. We have good days, we have bad days. So today's all about not judging and see what you got, okay? If you fall, who cares? Pick your foot back up, it's all good. So here we are, we're reaching this top heel back. My chest is open, take a big breath here. Exhale, tuck the right knee in towards the nose. Create a nice little tight ball here. Reach the heel back, chest opens. 
Inhale, reach the knee in towards the nose. Exhale, reaches the heel back. Great job. Inhale, knee to nose, tuck in. Then we're gonna place the right foot next to the left. Press into the shins, come into our flat back. Inhale here. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. We're gonna come right back down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into our shins, flat back. Exhale, stepping the right foot back, or actually the left foot back. And placing the knee down. Inhale, untuck the toes, reach the arms up towards the sky, kneeling lunge. Press the back foot down into the ground, create that engagement. Tug the right hip crease back, breathe in here. Exhale, tip it forward, airplane arms. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, we'll reach it up. And then inhale, we'll place the hands on the inside of our right foot. We can walk that right foot off to the side just a bit. Creating that connection between the knee and the right tricep. So we'll get some engagement there, the inner, inner leg muscles. Breathe in here. Exhale, shift it back briefly. Come back into our variation of lizard, opening up the chest. And this is a great option if you do have a block that if this is not accessible to you, there are always options. So you can use a block to prop yourself up or come up even higher, just something to think about. Okay? So here we are in our lizard variation. We're gonna tuck the back toes, breathe in, lift the knee. Still engaged in my, my inner leg line on this right side, so I'm pressing into my shoulder. Take a breath, lengthen the spine, drop the back heel. And then here we are, we're gonna move into side angle. So inhale, arm will come up towards the sky, flow it out, exhale. Inhale reaches up, exhale down. Inhale will reach it up, and then exhale back down. Pivoting on our back toes, we're back in our runner's lunge, you know where we're going, three point balance, right? So get our mind right. And as we inhale, use the strength of that right leg, we're gonna pop up, lifting the left. Left heel's gonna reach back. The chest is square down towards the ground. Inhale, let's tuck the left knee in towards the center line of the body. Exhale, reach it out. Inhale, tucks in. Exhale, reaches out. One last time, inhale, tuck in. Set that left foot next to the right. Inhale, we come into our flat back. Exhale, we'll forward fold. Inhale, let's roll all the way up to stand. Awesome job. Exhale, come all the way back down. Inhaling our flat back. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, we'll come all the way up to stand. As we come up to stand, we'll shift weight to our right leg. The left is gonna come with us in elevator pose. So we'll set up an elevator. The left knee is lifted. Arms are gonna reach up towards the sky. We've got our big beach ball here. Take a breath. Strong legs interlacing the hands above the head, steeple. Take a big breath, inhale. Hip hinge, reach forward with the fingers. Reach the left foot back. We're in warrior three. So warrior three, big balance pose here. So we're reaching forward with the fingers, heels reaching back. One more breath. And then really take that left foot, reach it back. We'll come all the way up into our crescent lunge. Arms are strong. Tuck the right hip crease back. Breathe in. Exhale, cactus arms. Breathe out, great job. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, tip it forward, airplane arms. So take a quick peek at our feet. Tug the right hip crease back, reach that left heel back. Inhale, we'll reach it all the way up. We're in our runner's lunge or crescent lunge. Inhale, reach it forward, airplane. 
exhale the expression of this pose. So we're building. Inhale. Take the hands on either side of my front foot. Now this back leg is going to come up. We're going to work towards that three-point balance. Stick with me. If the block is nearby, this is another really great option to have near your right foot. All right, so three-point balance. We're going to pop up onto our right leg. Sounds easy, right? Pop up. <clears throat> we're reaching our left heel back. Fingers are down. Chest is square to the floor. Then as we inhale, open the chest, we have the option to keep the hands here or take the left hand towards the chest. Okay? If we're feeling cozy, we can inhale long through the spine, reach through that lifted leg and take left hand towards the sky, half moon. If we're in our half moon or whatever variation, we'll take another breath, exhale, tuck the knee in, reach it out, inhale. Exhale, tuck the knee in. Reach it out. One more breath in, tucks the knee in. Exhale, place the foot on the side of the right. Press into the shins, inhale. Exhale, fold. Soft knees in our forward fold, grab opposite elbows. Let's let go of what happened on that side. <clears throat> and we're gonna hit the other side, so. Let's go. It's time to start fresh. Inhale, drop the arms, flat back. Exhale, forward folding. Inhale, we'll begin to rise up, shifting our weight to our left foot, and the right leg follows. So we're in our, in our elevator pose. Got our beach ball hands here, creating our own resistance. Interlacing fingers, take a breath. Get tall, exhale. Inhale again. Exhale it out, strong legs here, tipping ourselves forward, hip hinging. Reach the right foot back, fingers reaching forward, and we're gonna come into our warrior three. So our top toes are pointing downwards. Warrior three, take another breath in, and breath out. Inhale, exhale, reach that right leg all the way back. Our fingers pointing up towards the sky, we have our crescent lunge. Inhale here, exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, reach it up, exhale, cactus arms. Good, strong legs here, tug the left hip crease back. Inhale, reach it up. And then tipping forward, float the arms back, airplane pose. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, airplane. Good, we've got one more. Inhale. Exhaling, airplane pose. Placing the hands on either side of the front foot, we're going to set up for our three-point balance. So here we go. We're going to inhale. Exhale, shifting up onto our left foot, lifting the left, or lifting the right leg. Starting with our hips and shoulders squaring downwards. There we go. All right, so toes down, hips are closed. Keep the fingers down to start. Begin to open the hips towards the long edge of the mat. The toes will spin outwards. Great place to be. If we're feeling sturdy, stable, we can go ahead and take the right hand to the chest. Great option here to use the block if it's nearby. Okay. Even if we hover the hands, it's sending information up to the brain. That's what this is all about, information. So if we're feeling comfortable, we can take that right hand up towards the sky. And for me, I, I'm knowing that this isn't gonna happen on this side today. So. If you've got the hand to the heart, wonderful. If you're reaching that right, right hand up towards the sky, awesome, keep kicking butt. All right, so we're gonna inhale, close the hips back down, tuck the knee in towards the chest. Exhale, reach it up. Inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, reach it back. One last time, inhale, knee to nose. Exhale, place the right next to the left. Give the head a little shake. 
Inhale, press into a flat back. Exhale, we'll forward fold, step back into push-up plank. Oh, hey, this is different. <laughs> We're in push-up plank, breathe in. Breathe out, drop the knees if you'd like. Otherwise, we'll lower into our vinyasa. Inhale, our back bend. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in here and downward facing dog. And breathe out. Inhale in. Exhale it out through the mouth. Let's breathe in. Lift up through the heels. Sitting bones reaching up towards the sky. Exhale. Bend the knees. Gaze forward. Let's step forward to the front of our mat. Forward fold. Inhale. We'll come all the way up to stand. And then exhale. Let's go hands to heart center. Awesome job. The hard work is mostly done. All right. So I'm going to readjust myself here. So we're in our in our mountain pose and we're breathing connect with the feet okay so I'm gonna turn towards you give you one a different vantage point here so we're gazing down the toes lift all ten toes create that connection with the feet we'll lift up through the crown of the head take one more breath in reconnect breathe out set all ten toes down Let's shift our weight to our right foot, popping up the right, the left heel. And then we're gonna take the sole of the left foot to the inner arch of our right standing leg, tree pose. Now, if you've been in tree pose before and you are familiar with other variations or we pull the heel up higher, go ahead and go there. But for today, I'm gonna show tree pose. All right, so we're in tree pose. And inhale the arms up towards the sky. Nice tall tree here. Focus and balance. Breath here. Exhale out. Mindful that our hips are, are even. We're not trying to work one side more than the other. And let's take our hands to the heart center. Breathe in. And then taking, taking the left knee towards the center, lift up into that elevator pose. Kicking the heel out, hamstrings. Inhale, tuck the heel in towards the body. Exhale, reach it out. Inhale, tuck it in. All right, here we go. Inhale, we'll take our left hand up towards the sky, right hand to the knee. Take another breath, get nice and tall here. This top arm, we're gonna reach it back. We're gonna begin to rotate and open up towards the left side. So we've been in this position on the floor our supine spinal twist. Get tall, breathe in. Exhale, soften. Breathe it back towards the center, reach it up. And then exhale, stepping the feet down. Awesome job. All right, here we go again. Breath in, shrug shoulders up. Breath out. Letting go of that side that we just worked on. And we'll shift towards our left foot. Pop up on the ball of the right foot. And then taking the sole of the right foot to the inner leg line of our standing leg, open up the knee to external rotation. So strong legs here. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Finding a focal point, ideally that does not move. And being a strong and stable tree for two more breaths. One more breath. And exhale, hands to the heart. Let's go ahead and bring the right knee back towards the center leg line, lifting the knee up, we're in the elevator. Strong left leg, right leg, kicking the heel out. Inhale, tuck the heel back in. One last time, kick out. Exhale, tucking the heel back in. Reach the right arm up towards the sky. Our left hand will come to the right knee. Finding our balance, get tall. Exhale, opening up towards the long edge of the mat, our standing twist. Big balance here. Find that focal point, breathe it in big. 
exhale, use the exhale to create space, ta -da, and open up further. Inhale it back to the center, set both feet down, give the legs a little shake out, awesome job. All right, we're gonna take our feet wide, toes are spinning out, you guys did a really great job, the hard work is mostly done. If you do have that block nearby, you can certainly use it, but we're gonna set up in our yoga squat. So reaching the arms up towards the sky, five-pointed star. Exhale, begin to set the hips down. So if you don't have a block, that is totally fine. I do, so I'm gonna use it today because it feels good, all right? So taking my elbows to the inner knees and pressing them out. So if we are working with any sort of knee injuries, I don't suggest going all the way into that deep squat. Stay more so in like a pitcher type or a catcher squat. Would not be a pitcher, a catcher squat. So we're pressing elbows into knees, knees into elbows, yoga squat. Breathe in here, breathe it out. Take the right hand, open the palm up towards me or towards the front of your mat. Reach the left arm up towards the sky, gentle twist. Inhale back to the center, switch, left palms opening forward, inhale right up towards the sky. Awesome stuff. Here we are. We're in our yoga squat. If we're on a block, let's lift up the hips. If we're not, we're going to gracefully or not gracefully find ourselves onto, um, onto our seats and create some space between the knees and your chest. <clears throat> sitting up nice and tall inhale exhale chin to the chest inhale opening up to the chest our seated cat cow exhale rolling in inhale open up the chest we're gonna do uh, a kids yoga variation right so sometimes it's, it's nice to have fun so we're doing balance today, so why not do some more balance? So we're gonna do flower pose. This is again, usually we do it in kids yoga. And I was doing my own home practice the other day and the teacher used it and I was like, huh, I forgot about that pose, that's a good one. So separate the feet a little wider, take the arms and we'll reach forward. Really important to shift back a bit. And we're gonna take one arm under, the other arm under, and we're gonna find that balance the soles of the feet come together and the palms will reach up. Okay, so you're gonna find that sweet spot in that sitting bone area, reach up tall. I'm pressing my elbows into the inner thighs to externally rotate my hips. So I'm trying to get a little more bang for my buck here. So my ankles are reaching up. I'm actively pressing my knees down. Take another breath here, exhale it out. Have fun with it. If you fall out and you make a fool of yourself, Oh well, you're at home, it's all good. Inhale in, exhale it out. Go ahead and take the feet, we'll place them back down onto the mat. Take another hug in, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, chin to the chest, nice big stretch to the back of the neck. One more breath here. Exhale. Breathe in lift the head lift the neck we're going to extend out through the legs and i'm going to bend my right foot so inner arch of my right foot is at my left knee i'm going to sit up nice and tall so i'm going to give you a few options here for some hip stretches we can stay here or we can have the option of stepping over so i'll show here okay. wherever we are i'm going to take my left hand up towards the sky my right hand will be my prop Exhale, begin to twist towards the long edge of the mat. As you inhale, use that inhale to get tall and then use the exhale to twist. Good, breathe in here, breathe out, breath in and breath out. Good, let's come back towards the center. Nice job. Take the soles of the feet together. So we're in cobbler's pose, sitting up nice and tall, holding the ankles, neutral spine. Exhale, folding. So 
So working the knees down towards the ground, maybe with a little help from our elbows. And then let's mindfully come back up to a seat, extending out through the legs, we have the other side. All right, so we're gonna bend through the left ankle, sitting up nice and tall, opting to stay here or stepping over. I'm gonna inhale, right hand up towards the sky, my left hand is my prop, and then gentle twist towards my left. So that lengthened leg, I like to keep it engaged. So my toes are gonna work up towards the sky, really bright through the chest, bright through the fingers. As we breath, as we breathe, <laughs> we'll get tall. Exhale, twisting. We really use that exhale to create space. Awesome. All right, last breath in and breath out, come back towards the center of the chest. We're gonna lean it back, extend both legs, give ourselves a little shaky shake. All right, so scoop forward, give yourself some space here. We're gonna find ourselves onto our back, hugging the knees in towards the chest. All right, so we're on our back, Knees are hugging in. You've worked hard for this resting portion of our practice today. Quite flex the ankles. And then let's place our feet downwards onto the mat. Taking our, our left leg cross over. So kind of a, an easy leg cross. And then we're gonna take that whole shape and drop it towards our left. The arms can come out to a T, they can come out to cactus, they could weight uh, the legs, your option. Wherever we choose to be with our arms, soften all through the center area of the body, allowing more rotation or, or rigging out in that spine. Bring the knees back towards the center using the strength of our core. All right, untuck. We've got the other side, so easy leg cross on the right side, dropping that entire shape over towards the right, taking our variation with the arms. <clears throat> Taking two more breaths here. All right, drawing the knees back towards the center, placing both feet onto our mats. <clears throat> Taking the hands to the thighs. Let's take a deep breath in. Let's get ourselves into a nice solid pelvic tilt. So hollowing out through the belly. Just engaging those muscles to protect the spine because we've done a lot of twisting today. Take a big breath in, really press the low back down into the mat, breathe. Exhale, breathe that out through the mouth. Good, release that tuck. Take the feet as wide as the edges of the mat, drop to the right, drop to the left. And then let's go ahead and extend the right leg. Extend the left leg. Palm up on the left, palm up on the right. We're in our final relaxation, so be grateful for a few moments of stillness. We've earned it. Shooting for at least five breaths here, but if you have to scoot and you have to go, it's okay, but at least take a few moments here. Taking in the sounds 
around you. Allowing those thoughts to come in and out of mind without judgment. <laughs> 